Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia and today's video is going to be the fastest way to clean your makeup brushes and makeup sponges. Now I've got tons in this video and that's probably why it's 7 minutes and 12 seconds long, but it's really easy. And the first step is to add some water to a bowl. Now today I'm using two cups of warm water to this huge glass bowl that I found at Ikea for a couple of bucks. Now the way that I'm doing it is eco-friendly because we are in a drought, sister. So I am trying to avoid running water. It just wastes so much water and it makes me feel bad. So yeah, we're gonna do it this way. So the two cups on the side are going to be our extra rinse. And this is the soap that I'm using today. It's just a bar of soap. It looks really fancy. I got it at Marshall's for $4. I'm sure you guys can find something maybe even cheaper at your local drugstore or the 99 cent store, but this is what I ran into. So this is what I'm going to be using. While I unwrap that, I invite you guys to hit subscribe if you have not already. Now, the reason I'm using a beauty bar and instead of like hand soap with antibacterial in it is because I want something gentle on the hairs of my brushes, especially because some of them are pretty expensive and I know a lot of you guys are on a budget and we don't have time to be messing up our tools. So we wanna take care of these babies because I know I can be a little bit rough and let's, you know, be gentle. Now I bunch them up. I like to take them into the water and shake them about get all the loose powder that might still be hanging on for dear life just trying to get that out gently then I'm going to swirl my brushes on top of the soap now I'm not digging in I'm not touching the metal of my bristles or where the actually where the hairs connect to the brush handle I'm not doing any of that it's really really light motions and as you can see the soap is starting to bubble up and really froth up and foam up and that's gonna give you a nice gentle wash without being too abrasive because we don't want to make the glue that is holding the hairs onto the handle come undone because they will start to wiggle and shake and then you're gonna have to throw it away it's gonna be a waste of money then place the brushes in the clean water, shake them about, wring out any extra water that might be dripping, and lay flat. Next, I'm going to be washing my foundation brushes, and I feel like these ones are pretty dramatic because they hold a lot of product. I know they're tiny, but they're packed with foundation, so I'm gonna make sure that I give them some extra love. Doing the painting and then swish motion over and over again until I'm satisfied, until I've loosened up all of that built on oil from the foundation. It'll get loose eventually. I love this soap because it's really soft, it smells really good, and I feel like it's almost like a conditioner for the hairs of my brushes. They don't come out wicked when they dry, so that's always nice. Wring them out really nice and then throw them into the clean water for their final rinses. Now, I feel like it's really rare if you watch one of my makeup tutorials and you don't see me using a dirty ass sponge. It's because I hate washing my brushes, but after learning this technique, I'm like, hello, it's so easy. I can wash my butt after this with the same, what, it, it, excuse me, sir. Um, yeah, I am seriously half gorilla and I break and rip and destroy everything that touches my hands or that I touch with my hands. Any, anyhow, as you can see, the water is getting super duper nasty because there's tons of buildup on my sponge, but look how quickly it's getting clean. It's unbelievable. So I love these sponges. These ones in particular are the diamond sponges from Real Techniques and it just it's such a dramatic difference now it depends on how dirty your brushes and sponges are you might have to switch out the water like I did now I'm going to move on to another sponge this one is a little bit more dirty actually has darker product and it is no match for this soap now it doesn't have to be this soap in particular because I know it's gonna be hard to find the exact same one especially because I bought it at Marshall's but you can find these milky type of beauty bars anywhere like at Target I know Dove has a really good one um, I've seen a video where someone uses like Irish Spring I think it was Irish Spring but to me to be honest with you I don't like the smell it's too strong and I'm just scared that my face will break out and look how nasty this one is this one is like I just refuse to use it because I was too lazy to wash it but look how easy all of that 
gunk and nastiness comes off of my brush so so easy with the same technique look at this unbelievable so clean compared to how it was two seconds ago Ugh! can't believe I was wiping that all over my face please do yourself a favor call your girlfriends over your sister into your room and have a makeup brush cleaning party because I know a lot of you guys are just as in need as I was because my brushes were nasty I decided hey might as well film this right so I'm gonna put this bad boy away since this is my little holy grail my little secret weapon I'm gonna dry it really well and then store it into a ziploc bag and throw it underneath my sink you can, I mean, you can wash your body with it if you want to but I'm gonna use this one especially for my brushes now all you do is lay your brushes flat onto a paper towel or to a towel depends on what you've got working I just have a paper towel and it's perfect so I do a little swish motion around into another paper towel trying to get that fluff happening so that my brushes are not completely out of whack and don't dry kind of funky so I'm gonna keep doing that process to all of my brushes and I'm telling you guys this probably took me mm, maybe about five maybe 10 minutes at the most because I was filming it and you know I have to make it aesthetically pretty <laughs> but it was really easy to do and it's now something that I should be doing more often because it's so quick you can leave this overnight like I did or just a few hours depending on how fast they dry or how hot your house is but look how clean the sponge is it's unbelievable it hasn't lost any of its shape so I'm so happy about that the bristles look really nice and soft and conditioned. They're not stiff or hard or falling apart. There are no wispies, nothing to cut off. So I was really happy with the results. So hopefully you guys try this out for yourself. If you have a favorite method or product that you use to wash your brushes and sponges, let us know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you have not already joined my family. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.